as an experimentalist, I have one question. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm wondering uh, how a theoretician is working. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, what are you doing? You're just um, working on your computer, uh, uh, working on code, so things like this. Or? Uh, in this very moment, I'm not working at the code because I'm using a code that have been uh, programmed by other people. Uh, so the main goal uh, in my case is um, trying to address the physics of the problem. I can uh, try to build uh, my model system and uh, run a calculation for that. First, uh, I'm testing the system uh, with um, less accuracy, just to have an idea of the physics, uh, of the main uh, information that you can extract for your system. And after that, I'm doing a more accurate Uh, calculation for uh, the talks, uh, presentation for papers, and so on. It can be hours for a uh, few hours for low accuracy calculation, can be weeks uh, for uh, high accuracy. Uh, it, and then uh, for, uh, for um, it also depends on how big, on the number of the atoms, how big is your system. And when this is done, I have to analyze the results and trying to extract all the information that I need. Usually you start um, with with a rough idea of uh, your uh, system and uh, in time you you find um, different questions that you want to answer. And so you try to do some other calculation to find answers to this question. I think it's pretty similar uh, to the experimental work. Uh, the scheme, the idea of uh, uh, it's not so so different it's just that instead of uh, I don't know, I I also worked in a lab, so instead of uh, running the experiment, you run a calculation but all the rest is similar the way you address the work uh, it depends a lot on your uh, personality so um, it's the way you are it's the same way you approach the, the, the work And this is uh, our human side that came out. So I think it's nice.